Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome students to the online NPTEL course Visual Communication Design for Digital Media. In the previous uh, few lectures, we were discussing about the, uh, we have given a, a brief idea about the generic design methodology in uh, digital platform. After that, we uh, moved on towards the detail, uh, detailed discussion on the met methodology on animation and game design. And we all, uh, we mainly focused on the 2D, uh, 2D animation because 3D animation also has some other uh, software um, constraints. And then we also discussed uh, the interaction design or the UI, uh, UX design you can say on uh, which is, uh, which deals with uh, web design and web application design. It can be uh, on, um, on uh, for the desktop and laptop or it can be for tab and mobile. So uh, that we discussed and in the last uh, mod, uh, last module of the uh, visual communication uh, design methodology, uh, we will uh, discuss about the graphic design methodology. So um, in the graphic design methodology, if you uh, think about the graphic design, graphic design can also be a tangible uh, media. So uh, as it, uh, we are discussing of, uh, on the um, discussing on uh, digital media platform, but we need to know that graphic design also has a tangible media platform. Uh, for example, if somebody is painting uh, by hand, uh, so uh, you know, they are using, uh, they, they can use um, the paint brush on canvas. For example, it can be a, a canvas painting, it can even be a vernacular, Indian vernacular uh, paintings like uh, Patachitra, the scroll paintings. Or uh, if you think about the print media, the traditional print media which uh, existed uh, far before uh, the um, uh, um, development of contemporary art style, even before the Gutenberg uh, have um, developed the press, print media for example ser serigraphy, linography, lithography, these were there. So they used to make the um, um, a master print copy and then uh, uh, they used to use um, uh, the copy with the uh, different colors. Uh, they used to print um, um, several copies of the similar uh, thing. So it was also existed in um, uh, far eastern countries like Japan and uh, also there was, in, uh, there, there was a center in Europe. But uh, we will uh, discuss more about the digital media platform, uh, the methodology uh, of graphic design in digital media, uh, media platforms using some softwares. So uh, if we discuss about the broad phases, uh, they are the similar to the generic design methodology and uh, the way we, uh, we had discussed uh, earlier in the, we have seen in the animation and web application design. So first we have to do our research and uh, mostly we know that this is the process of design is uh, uh, mostly bottom up and inductive way. So we do start with the research and ethnography and do analyze that and see a pattern and un understand the coherence and co uh, coherent link and what has to be uh, designed and or the need statement has to be uh, developed that what is the need of the design and based on the client, based on the user, based on the product, uh, based on the uh, what kind of communication we want. And then we have to make a conceptual model and uh, after this analysis uh, which we get from research and the conceptual model cannot be directly translated in the final design. It has to be validated with the user because there is a user communication we are talking about, user's experience we are talking about, user's uh, mental model and how will they perceive and then their semiotic behavior. And so that concept uh, has to be um, um, shown to the user and the feedback and evaluation by the user has to be there. That's the process of user testing that we also has been um, discussing earlier. And then a heuristic analysis or the pros, uh, well thought methodical analysis of all these things has to be done to find out where are the flaws in the design, if there are any, if uh, users are stuck and the proper communication from the designed object, designed um, or graphic design to the user is not happening or hampered or uh, not in the desired way, then we need to find out where the problems and identify those anomalies or uh, those um, uh, non-desired uh, things and then eliminate that 
or it might happen uh, the complete design process we are thinking might be uh, in going towards a different direction then we can also skip the design and then start uh, 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 from a scratch. And then uh, iterations or complete transformation is the next step and then again it can uh, be uh, in an iterative process as we were uh, discussing earlier which can from iteration it can go to the conceptual evaluation if it, there are major changes or it can again go to a small change and uh, feedback of the user and evaluation and then iterations and then if uh, the designers uh, are satisfied with the user feedback then it can lead to the uh, towards the final design. So again the di uh, double diamond uh, method of uh, design of which we are discussing in the generic design methodology is there. So problem identification and the solution there are first we have to diverge. So we have to make multivariate options and here uh, so uh, first we have to understand the problems we, ha we have to think about all these uh, options what kind of problems user face and then we have to diverge towards the exact need what specified need is there some of the problems might be redundant and based uh, on some different scenarios though those we will exclude and actual problem we need to focus and pinpoint and then we have to again uh, diverge and make multivariate uh, design options and then a proper communicative designs to uh, we have to uh, lead towards a one single solution of proper communicative design for better user experience. So first uh, if we uh, think about the research, so research is es essentially here is qualitative in design process. Uh, the it can be quantitative if we uh, think about uh, uh, eye tracker, so which uh, can be uh, most uh, uh, eye trackers heat map is also qualitative but if we uh, think about the raw data file of eye, uh, eye tracker and um, uh, do a statistical analysis of this, all these data of focal point what is the distance of uh, in which direction people's eye are moving and what is the time frame uh, on a particular um, area of interest uh, uh, people are focusing on. So those can be quantitative and uh, numerical uh, analysis can be uh, possible but mostly uh, most of the design uh, is done in a uh, uh, through a qualitative research. So here there can be uh, uh, three main things, there can be other uh, as well. Understanding the client's need, if there is a one to one client uh, uh, need and client wants some design for their own thing, uh, own uh, use. For example, if some, uh, somebody is uh, uh, wanting to, uh, interior design and some graphics has to be done on the interior wallpaper. So that uh, should be based on the client's uh, need and client himself is the user over here. So next is the user survey where client might be different from the user. For example, in case of a uh, brand when client is different, client will be the brand's owner or the CEO or the person who owns the brand and the user will be somebody different uh, uh, who's uh, who, who's the u u user or the buyer of the brand? So here uh, the user and client is different. So we, here we need to understand the user who is the real user. For example, of a packaging design, the packaging of a particular brand um, will be uh, the cl uh, client will be from the particular brand, um, but the packaging user will be uh, the people who purchase those uh, products. So here we need to understand the people, here again the persona and scenario and understanding the target user has to be there uh, which has been discussed earlier in the web design uh, methodology. Uh, so I am not going into detail and then brand identity for some cases uh, there can be a existing, uh, existing brand identity which is very strong in users mental model. So user already has a perception of a brand. So that we uh, the designers cannot go against the brand's a uh, lot of um, 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 uh, uh, visual identity. So if uh, for example um, you must have uh, seen the Yahoo's logo uh, has also changed their, uh, their logo that typefaces and um, the way it has been written. So Yahoo had a brand of uh, and there is a color association of purple with the Yahoo. So they did not change the color and the font the way it has been written Yahoo and with a uh, note of exp uh, exclamation that is also written. So lot of uh, preconceived ideas of uh, user, uh, user mental model has to be matched with the new brand otherwise people will not associate that with the, uh, uh, the previous brand and lot of uh, the brand might lose its identity. 
So, for example, our understanding the client in case of a particular uh, uh, client when we are dealing with a particular client, multiple variate uh, uh, variations of design can be uh, given and there can be a single theme from that a color palette and uh, all these uh, imageries can be evolved. For example, here uh, the theme was uh, peace and Gandhiji. So, here the charka and birds uh, uh, symbolizing peace and uh, some uh, elements has been taken from uh, that theme and multiple variants of uh, design has been generated and then uh, the client uh, it has been discussed with the client. Then understanding the user, so understand uh, for whom we are designing that will give, uh, give you the understanding of what kind of color scheme, what kind of color palette and what kind of the complete mood of the design, complete uh, ambience, complete uh, visual language of the design will be. For example, first in the first cluster we can see there is a, a product for kids, you can read the, that um, in a small uh, font it is written. These are the products for kids. So kids in a uh, general uh, consideration, they like vibrant colors, they like um, uh, animals uh, um, and um, uh, 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 abstract forms and this um, uh, uh, vibrant colors and um, uh, colors are uh, more, uh, more associated with kids. So uh, these kind of abstract uh, animals and uh, fruits were depicted with vibrant colors and uh, symbolizes the uh, and easily perceptible that this is this is this is the brand, uh, the colors and everything is designed for the kid. And even if you uh, can look at the typography, they are bold and they are uh, eye catchy and they has uh, sharp contrast. So uh, which attracts um, kids' um, attention towards the sharp contrast of color, sharp uh, sharp contrast of value, and um, these kind of things. Then we can look at uh, some products which is for the female um, uh, target user, target audience. Uh, so here we can look at the color uh, palettes and the uh, forms which has some uh, feminine forms and uh, 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 colors we, which are associated with the uh, 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 more with the uh, female brand, uh, uh, brand identity, identity for a female product is used over here. And, um, in a sharp contrast to the uh, product range for the male, we can see the packaging design, the visual graphics here are used uh, are of more bold uh, color and um, there are more um, has a rustic look and uh, they, 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 there are some neutral color palettes are also used over here. And here we can look at the, if we can compare the shape of this with the Chanel and uh, Jimmy Choo's um, a perfume bottle with the diesel's uh, perfume bottle for the male. Here a lot of angular uh, sharp edges are there, a lot of um, uh, uh, tactile uh, textures are have been used, uh, grunge, uh, it gives us a grunge uh, color palette and uh, with a blue and grey color tone and brown color tone which are more associated with the uh, product range for the male. And, uh, here uh, versus here the um, pink and um, glossy color tones uh, which are associated with the female uh, product range. And again uh, talking about the user survey, uh, it should also go with the mood of the um, you know what kind of users are using that. For example, if we uh, look at a, if we go to a, K a KFC outlet, this is mo mostly targeted towards uh, teenage people and who can go, go there and um, have uh, KFC buckets. So here a lot of uh, photographs with uh, vibrant colors and uh, this, uh, this kind of uh, 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 the similar kind of mood uh, is depicted over here. And it also uh, tells uh, about, uh, talks about the brand identity, the brand's color palette has been also used. And it also has a retro look. So this kind of, uh, uh, this gives an association of the, uh, it's uh, KFC's long and um, the brand which is established from long period. So that kind of, uh, so the color evolved from all these things are uh, based on the uh, uh, target audience and the brand identity. And here uh, we can also see uh, photographs of um, uh, Delhi airport restrooms. Here the users, if we think about an air, uh, airport, the users who, uh, uh, because it's an international airport, a so, um, lot of the people will be from abroad and they, uh, this airport is the first gateway 
of uh, entering a country. So, uh, the country's airport uh, in most of the cases showcase what kind of culture we have. And India being rich in diverse cultural forms, uh, in um, Delhi airport, it has, uh, they, they are trying to depict that there are different kind of um, uh, culture in different provinces. And in the toilet restrooms, generally what happened, we were discussing in the semiotics uh, part, uh, there will be iconographic uh, uh, logos of uh, male and female uh, people, but here instead of using those logos, uh, they have used uh, real photographs. Even we are discussing that semiotics can uh, happen from uh, realistic image towards and also um, can happen from an uh, iconic image. So here instead of uh, going uh, towards uh, um, following the conventional um, icons of restrooms, they have uh, just used a realistic photograph of uh, 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 um, uh, people from different uh, provinces, male and female uh, people from different uh, provinces wearing uh, different, uh, their uh, traditional indigenous ethnic clothes. So that also gives another layer of information that uh, these are the culture and uh, um, uh, this is the culture of India and uh, educating or informing the people who uh, are coming to the, uh, India for the first time. So uh, here this kind of uh, uh, thinking about the target audience who wants to know about India because they, they mostly will be the traveler and uh, will, uh, in, will be inquisitive about knowing the Indian culture more. So that, that was the decision taken by a designer. Even in Mumbai airport, uh, you can see some kind of installations. They are mostly uh, uh, done in uh, traditional media, uh, but some of them are also uh, printed and done in digital media. So there are a lot of um, uh, uh, collage of traditional uh, Indian uh, uh, craft forms and Indian art forms. So here we can uh, see the uh, Tamil Nadu's Thanj Thanjapur painting has been transformed into a contemporary form. And here there are a lot of um, miniature paintings and as well as the uh, North Indian wood carving is juxtaposed and uh, to give a uh, uh, experience of uh, India's cultural identity. Then uh, it also should come from the brand identity. If the brand is already established, we should not uh, go, uh, uh, we should not oppose the identity of the brand. So understanding the user's mental model, uh, user's uh, identity, uh, user who is uh, uh, using the existing band and uh, uh, has to be uh, looked at. So Google, we, uh, most of the users are aware about Google and this is one of the most uh, mostly used search engines. Uh, so Google have recently changed their um, logo, but without changing their, the color of each and every letters. If they change the color of each and every letter, because they are changing the typefaces, uh, so if they change the color of each and every letter, the identity of Google might be lost. So the need of changing the color was, uh, 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 need, of, uh, need of changing the um, uh, typefaces was also even explained in the in Google's um, uh, Google Doodle. So they wanted to uh, make uh, the typeface more legible, more geometric, and so that the uh, uh, the type logo is lighter and uh, loads quickly in um, and uh, takes le uh, less um, data in uh, of internet. And this is also uh, following towards uh, for, uh, uh, blending with the contemporary taste of minimalist uh, logo design. So initially there were a lot of curves and a lot of uh, uh, the serif fonts were used with ends and that translated into the sans serif fonts which is more uh, contemporary uh, with uh, more geometric look in the Google. And also that corresponds with the Google's material design that has been discussed earlier. So material design uh, uh, that has been discussed in the trends and of uh, new media technology. So material design is uh, developed by Google and there they uh, talk about the sharp edges and um, also they talk about the more geometric things and minimalist uh, approach contrasting the skeuomorphic uh, uh, approach of uh, Apple's platform. So here this their logo should also go with the uh, their material design uh, visual language. So they, that's why they changed this old logo to the new logo and they also uh, made an icon which also gives the similar color palette. So you can think, um, uh, you can uh, uh, take the color palette from this and they are also translated into the single letter this G, G uh, which stands for Google and this can be used, this they have used uh, in as a logo.
and also while loading uh, loading pages they use these four different colors primary colors dot primary colors and the, uh, this green dot uh, as a loading page and uh, which also gives the identity so color palette and the identity of google is uh, unchanged because of the uh, mental model and uh, the brand identity is already established if they were um, uh, going for a new company or uh, they were starting af uh, if some company is start, uh, starting afresh then the previous no, uh, con uh, consideration of uh, people's brand ident identity existence in uh, people's users mind the ident image of the brand uh, should not be considered that much because then the new company is launching their own brand identity first but in case of google it was not the case similarly if we think about the fin airs uh, uh, collaboration and branding visual branding and uh, collaboration with marimeko which is uh, again uh, finland and helsinki based uh, uh, furniture and textile uh, design company so finair has a uh, finland um, uh, finair uh, has a logo uh, has an identity of uh, using uh, the dark blue and green in their color and then uh, they collaborated with marimeko which is also uh, displayed in the finair's um, cargo uh, the uh, air uh, air buses here the print uh, prints are there which is derived from the marimeko textile so this is actually a marimeko textile taken um, uh, from marimeko website and uh, the, this is another marimiko text, uh, textile and this is the fin uh, air uh, other merchandises and the way um, the other products they use in on flight so all these uh, colors they uh, uh, di uh, didn't go uh, away from the fin airs brand identity because fin air was associated with the dark blue and green color so here they have uh, uh, you have marimiko's uh, marimiko use uh, different floral um, uh, um, uh, biomorphic uh, prints uh, so these kinds of flowers are also there but these kind of flowers uh, comes in uh, marimiko with uh, different uh, vibrant colors and mostly pink and orange is also overly used um, in marimiko's textile but pink and orange doesn't go with the pink uh, finair's uh, uh, logo so they have changed that into the blue and yellow uh, uh, um, uh, uh, combination and uh, blue and yellow also gives a psychological connection with the green because if you mix blue and yellow and if these patterns are very small and tiny then these dots and blue and yellow uh, will appear as a dot and then uh, you will have a visual perception of green that is also the color of fin air so this blue and color uh, uh, yellow uh, transformation of marimiko's pink and orange uh, contrast uh, uh, con uh, uh, combination is also a color association and based on the brand identity of fin air then uh, in visual analysis in terms of graphics uh, mostly it will be uh, visual design mood board so from all this analysis understanding the client understanding the brand understanding the user so in visual uh, communication design we need to uh, uh, arrive at a color palette then also we have to uh, uh, color palette and our other design elements uh, what kind of design e uh, elements uh, like line quality what kind of uh, shapes uh, whether it will be angular rectilinear curvilinear those things has to be achieved from the mood uh, uh, mood board or uh, from 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 the uh, an, um, research we have done uh, so uh, mood board is a collage of combining different images texts and objects which we get from the research and uh, which depicts the de uh, desired visual language of the final graphic design so what kind of visual language we uh, want to promote what kind of uh, experience uh, what kind of visual communication will happen from the final design to the user that comes from the these kind of um, image text and collage uh, uh, and uh, and the objects so there can be also tangible objects and um, uh, uh, there in the mood board uh, so here uh, in terms of um, the previous image, uh, you, if if you can think about this example, in the mood board there will be Finair's uh, logo, the colors of Finair's logo, as well as the Marimiko's shape. Uh, 
uh, the, and the patterns and uh, of the textile uh, patterns will be there in the mood board. So, from based on this and uh, synthesizing these two uh, th things and amalgamating these two things, the Fenier's new uh, collab um, uh, new uh, identity has been designed. Similarly, uh, in Google's design, the mood uh, in the mood board, the Google's identity has to be there, Google's color use has to be there. Even the contemporary test of their material design and users um, more liking towards the um, affinity towards the minimalist uh, design has to be there in the mood board. And some mood board can come from also abstract uh, concept like uh, uh, it can derive from nature, it can derive from some elements of nature for, fe uh, for example, feather, for example, um, bird and we can derive some uh, metaphor for, uh, from that like uh, from feather we can think about some soft uh, color palette, think about some soft um, curvilinear li uh, uh, line quality and so those will be uh, deciphering those mood board into uh, some kind of uh, metaphorical uh, explanations and then um, uh, doing a mind mapping of um, or quickly thinking some kind of words associated with that those things in the mood board and translating that into the final visual design. So, similar examples has been uh, examples of mood board has been also um, given in the uh, while we were discussing animation for example, uh, Bengal Patichitra this has been shown earlier from uh, the mood board uh, the final uh, animation has been designed. So, that is also nothing but a, a graphic design, but then there was a timeline and the, all these um, images were moving in the time frame that gives the animation. So, from the traditional um, art form the color palette has been derived, the text uh, textures has been derived, even the uh, tex uh, text which we were dis uh, discussing the typefaces of uh, the regional typefaces has been taken co in consideration and the final design has been uh, derived which has been showed earlier. You can go and check, um, go back and check that animation again uh, to understand this better. So, uh, after this synthesis and analysis, we uh, go to the design process. So, there will be concept evolution and then feedback and evaluation by the user and then iterations and then uh, if uh, based on the iteration, it can go back to the concept evaluation again or if there are ma major um, uh, changes required or it can be again uh, some iterations can be done and again um, can go back for the user testing. So, this has been discussed, uh, uh, I was discussing earlier. So, this is an iterative process of design and then the final design will come if the design, uh, the user feedback is satisfactory. So, for example, again uh, the uh, while designing the Google's new uh, logo, so they also uh, design some multivariate, uh, so that is what uh, we were discussing earlier multivariate options. So, again the double diamond uh, method of uh, diverging, converging is applicable here. So, we have to converge in terms of finding the solution. So, we have to make multivariate, multivariate means different options, different prototypes. So, alpha, beta and um, uh, we, we can name them as alpha uh, prototype, beta prototype based on different options. So, here there was first logo option which uh, of Google new logo, Google logo could have been uh, like this as well the new logo and the next option was this where uh, there was changing colors in a single uh, DG, um, letter as well and the G and E they are a uh, little different from the existing uh, current uh, logo and it can also be uh, this which gives a uh, material designs um, uh, angle of uh, 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 similar kind of visual palette and there were a lot of options des uh, derived by the Google, Google's visual designer. So, this is a multivariate um, option uh, generating multivariate options. So, they are going diverge and then they selected one particular design which suits their identity which uh, uh, they thought um, uh, the user uh, will uh, respond and we uh, user will link with the uh, brand identity more. So, finally, they have selected one, but before that they have created multiple options and uh, have gone through discussions, focus group discussions and uh, user testing process. So, we have uh, given a holistic and generic uh, methodology on graphic design platform. So, how uh, different uh, corporate firms of uh, graphic design corporate firms um, follow a method of graphic design for example, generating a, a poster or uh, creating brand identity or creating the uh, logo of the brand and selecting the color palette of a, of a brand or 
uh, some um, promotional uh, posters and uh, related things. So in the, uh, this is the last module. This was the last module of uh, uh, design methodology. And we um, have covered um, animation and game design, uh, wave application design or interaction design, the visual part of the interaction design, and the graphic design. In the next, next module, which is, uh, is the last module, we'll discuss, uh, we'll take some case studies. Uh, and mostly, we will take case studies of uh, animation and uh, user experience uh, and uh, interaction design, because they have a lot of other things to and a lot of other uh, aspects into it. Graphic design, we have cover, uh, covered a lot of, uh, uh, with a lot of examples. So uh, in the last uh, module, we'll uh, discuss some case studies. Thank you.